Hello, rock stars. Coach Nikki here. We're doing some Pilates sculpt, which is going to involve core, primary focus today. It's more front body core, but we're always focusing on everything as a unit. And then shoulders with that core work. So we're not going to burn them out necessarily, but if you would like to take a little bit of a weighted object, like a water bottle, something very, very light, I suggest, or nothing at all, okay? So it's completely up to you. So I'm going to set those over there so they'll be ready, and we'll just continue from, from that position. So I'm going to take all the way over to the side. So I want you to take your heels and just bring them kind of to the corners of your mat, sitting up nice and tall. And we'll start with just a little bit of breath work here. So if you'll place your hands right across your rib cage and start to see if you can breathe into the palms of your hands down here at the floating ribs. So we'll inhale and notice how you expand outward rather than the belly rising upward and then exhale and pull everything in making an sh or ha sound so see it's a little more forceful as you blow out the breath okay so inhale and then exhale notice how the girdle muscles or transverse abdominis the ta's get contracted, that girdle gets all nice and tight around your waist, and try that one more time. Exhale. Now I want you to keep the engagement, that nice light engagement of your core. We're not trying to solidly pull it in deep. I just want you to keep a nice engagement of your core. We're gonna take the arms forward, sitting up tall. Your knees can be bent, or we can start to work towards straight legs. As you lean back, you're keeping shoulders and hips in a nice line and coming back up to seated. So we'll inhale. I want you to try to take your hip flexors a little bit out of this equation. Now you're definitely going to be working, but your core should be more engaged than your hip flexors, okay? So inhale. If you start to feel a burning out right here, go back and focus on getting that core active. Okay? Inhale, coming back. Shoulders relaxed. Bring it back up. Chin from chest. And it's just like you had a recliner and like if you're in a movie theater or something, right? You had a recliner and you could kick back that seat and then pull it back up. That's it. So we're going to go two more just like this. Now, as we continue to work, feel free if you want to grab your weighted objects here and hold them in front of you. And now we're going to take a little rotation. So as you lean back, keep the chest lifted, rotate, sweep one arm back, turn the shoulders and come back to center and then back up. So we go to the other side, lean back, rotate, center and up. Back, rotate, center and up. So I'm trying to keep my legs really steady and your legs could be pretty straight. Now, if you straighten your legs all the way and you have tight hamstrings, that could definitely pull you under and you'll find this rounding motion. So go ahead and bend those knees if you feel like you're being pulled under. So I want you to stay nice and lifted. So let's take four more, pull back, rotate, come up, and three, rotate, try to make that a nice smooth movement. Rotate, come up, and one more. Now we're gonna continue to go here with those palms faced up, and you're gonna pull back, come up, and bring the arms out to the side. So I'll turn just a little. So we're going to lean back a little further maybe this time and back up. Okay. So inhale, exhale. Shoulders just drawn back, relax down your back. Okay. When you pull those arms back, give it a little squeeze between your shoulder blades, but without kind of poking your chest forward like a big arch. We're not trying to overemphasize that. We want to keep those ribs down. So just a couple more right here. Exhale. So you'll notice those shoulders may start to burn. If you need to drop anything you have, go ahead and do so. It depends on what you did yesterday and how you feel today. Okay, just the range of motion is fine. So let's take that last one. Now I want you to flip those palms and bring the elbows back. So let's continue to row. So we're gonna row. So imagine just like you were on a rowing machine or similar to it. <laughs> we pull those elbows back. Continue here. See if you can lean it back a little bit more but without rounding your back. Now we're gonna add a little combo. So we're gonna take those arms straight out, bring it to center and row. Elbows are about the same height as your shoulders slightly lower 
Okay, when you pull back, so pull back, there you go, bring it forward, open, and then row. Good, let's go three, open, and row, two, open, little horizontal fly, and row, good, and one. Give me a big row here. Awesome work. Now, just release it. Take your head side to side. Make sure you didn't create tension in your neck. So the weights or the weighted objects will just hang on to those or you can set them beside you. So sitting on your mat, roll it all the way back. As you bring your feet up, let's find that blueberry spine. So same as when we were seated, but now we have the floor to give us some feedback. So we're pulling the rib cage down, not smashing the back end to the mat. That's where that blueberry comes in. Well, we're not gonna smash it, but you wanna lightly press it. Just put a little weight into it right there behind your belly button. Okay, so keep everything drawn together in the front body like you're pulling ribs and hips closer together. We're gonna maintain that action. Arms are going over shoulders with or without weighted objects. Opposite arm and leg. So I'm just gonna drop the left toe and reach the right arm. Reach, come back up. Switch, reach a little dead bug, alternating arm and leg. Inhale, exhale. So if you have something in your hand, you'll notice just that little bit of extra weight, even just your arm, is gonna to try to pull your rib cage up and that's where you've got that extra resistance with your limbs. Now, if you could go a little bit further by taking one leg and reaching it out and bring it up and switch and bring it up. So just the weight of that leg increasing the pull to your core, okay? Bring it up, good. Inhale, exhale. You go, you could even add maybe some light ankle weights. I wouldn't go too heavy here, but if you were to want to add a little extra, you could do that. All right, so let's go for four more. So four, three, two, good, and one. Now we're gonna keep the arms up, take both legs out so we can start with bent knees, arms overhead, and bring it back up. Inhale. Drop the toes. Now watch that space behind your back. You don't want to create a big arc underneath your back. So I want you to really pull down as you reach. Now those legs could go straight out as well. And then back up. Inhale. Double leg stretch. Reach. If you want to add any more to this, lift your shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. So the lower your legs go, the more you will need to engage your glutes along with your core. It's all a part of your inner core line, up your inner thighs, into your glutes, and with the center of your body working together in unison to keep you supported. So let's go for three. Inhale, exhale up, two, and one. Awesome work. All right. We're going to set those feet down, set your items down just somewhere beside you so they'll be within reach again here for the next movement after these next couple. All right, so we're going to take the right hand to right thigh, bring those legs up. We're going to press the two together. Notice that it creates some resistance here, and we're going to keep the core active. So reaching your left arm to the sky, inhale, take left leg, left arm, and reach overhead. Now bring elbow and knee close together. Give it a little crunch. Now you can add that upper body right here and crunch. Okay, so inhale, reach. Exhale, lift. You're creating resistance with that right hand, right leg the whole time. So always feel free. You could leave your head down and still do this movement creating resistance. If you feel like you need support behind your head, take your hand and just rest it behind the base of your head down close to your neck and give it a little squeeze here at the top. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Keeping chin from chest. Keep going. Feeling that constant contraction with this pressing of the leg and pan together. Last two on this side. And one. Awesome work. Now we get ready to switch. 
So placing left hand to left thigh, push equally into each other. So you got this resistance and isometric hold, isometric contraction. Taking your right hand, reaching. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bring knee and thigh close together. Inhale, reach. Exhale. This may be quite enough. If you want to add more, lift up. Inhale, exhale, lift. Once again, if you would like to add that hand behind your head, you can just take it here without reaching overhead. Inhale, exhale, lift. Keep pressing leg and thigh together. Ooh, feeling that in that lower part of your abdominals, especially. All right, last three. Two. And one. And then back to center. Awesome work. Set the feet down. We take both hands behind the head, elbows out. Now, if you interlace your fingers, that's fine, but make sure they're not up here at the top of your head. You've got your hand, head resting like a hammock or a bowling ball in a hammock. Okay, your hands are the hammock. Space between chin and chest. Find that action through your core. So I want you to take a deep breath in before you start. Blow it out, S-H or H-A. Now we've got those TAs going. Let's lift. Next breath, inhale. Exhale, lift the left knee, cross over right shoulder to left knee, switch sides. Lift your heels and just place your toes on the floor. Cross. I want you to be very mindful that your head stays heavy towards your hands and that you're not pushing it with your hands. Okay, so continue here, your next option. When you lift your knee, straighten the other leg, and then you can continue. Or we can go to the final option, keeping both legs lifted, full crisscross. We're reaching to the outside of that leg with your elbow, and then you can continue smoothly moving those legs, letting them pass each other in transition. So any of those variations or progressions, just go with it. Last four, three, two, and one. Ooh, awesome work. Ooh, rest, stretch it out, and you can let that, let that arch happen behind your back, it's fine. Okay, get a nice stretch out here. Take those weighted objects if you wanna use them. You can always decide in a moment. No, don't have to go right away. We're gonna take those little objects over our head or just your hands here. Okay, so inhale, exhale, start to float your chest up, reach to the end of your mat, float the legs, and then bring everything back down. Okay, deep breath in, inhale, we can reach overhead or just to the sky. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, I want you to keep the ribs pulled in. Try not to feel a space behind your mid back. Okay, everything is pressed to the mats and lightly pressing with your low back. Deep breath. Now, our next option, we can lift up and we're gonna take the legs straight instead. So you can straighten those legs out, float up and then lift into a hollow hold. Awesome work. You could always stay with those bent knees. So hollow hold with bent knees or straight legs. If you are deciding to go with the straight legs, feel like you could kind of zip up your inner thighs to heels like it's one big leg. Deep breath. Blow it out, you've got it. I know these are definitely getting more challenging as we move. Now, on your next lift, whether you have bent knees or you have straight legs, I want you to hold it. Taking one arm overhead and now the other. Good, let's go for eight more. Can we do it? I think we can. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Now, take both legs up, bent knee, and we just tap the toes, hold it right there, good. Your head could go down, your shoulders can rest, or you can go straight leg scissor. Here we go for eight, seven, six, deep breath, four more, three, two, you've got it. 
and one now. Hold here. We're going to tap those toes to the floor again. Heels are lifted. Rock it back. Inhale. Lift up. See if you can rock yourself all the way up. We'll do a little press, push, and lower back down. Okay. So inhale. Exhale, come up and press, push, and back down. Now, adding on, your next option would be to come up, lift your legs, press, push, and bring it back down. Stay with me here. We can continue. Lift, push, lower down, and final option. Straighten those legs. Lift up. Whoa. Balancing. Push. Bring it down. Inhale. Exhale. V-sit. Press. Push. Bring it down. Any of those variations I've given you, I want you to work where you can at the most challenging space that you can continue for the next three moves. Okay. Inhale. Exhale. Press. Push. And bring it down. Might have added an extra one there. <laughs> Two. Oh. Lift, push, and bring it down. And then last one, inhale, exhale, and bring it down. Very good. All right, relax here. Set your items off to the side. If you've got something in your hands, bring the knees in, give them a hug, rock it side to side. Now, Start to rock and roll just a few times here. So just try to lift your sit bones, roll yourself. If that's not comfortable, just come to seated. Okay, but we're gonna come up to seated. Walk your hips forward. Hold it here. Rock back just a little bit and float your feet. So I want you to either hold on behind your legs or on your shins. This is not, this is a momentum move but it's a move that you're controlling the momentum. So that's where the real challenge is gonna come in. So we're gonna really try to stay in this ball. Okay, so you're balancing here. If you lift your chest and pull your shoulders back, that helps you stop faster. Every time I want you to come back to this space with your feet lifted and pausing. Okay, so I want you to try to stay in your ball without kicking your feet. Inhale, keep the knees in close, the heels in close, come up and lift. A little rolling like a ball. Inhale, roll back. Try not to land on your neck or your head. You're just rolling back to your shoulders and then back up. It's okay if you don't get it at first or if you're not familiar with rolling this way. It's definitely something that takes a little practice. Got to round out the spine. Lift up. Just do the best you can. Inhale. And this is something that will help prep you for those reverse burpees too. So this is a nice practice. It's rolling like a ball. Let's go two more. And one. Bring it back up and take a break. Awesome work. Bring the feet together, the knees out. Let's round it forward. Just take a moment there. Deep breaths. Two more breaths while you're here. All right, very, very good work. All right, we're rolling it over now. So as you roll over, still working. So we'll get the chest and the core here, okay? But especially working on making sure that you stay balanced in your core. So I want you to just pop it up a little bit so you've still got yourself in this nice straight line from shoulders, hips to knees, so you can work from this position. First option, I want you to bring your palms close together like you're making a triangle with your forearms here. And then just plant your right hand. So right fingertips reaching toward left corner of the mat, forearm is down. Rock your shoulder back and down as well. Now taking your left hand, you're gonna reach it forward, and then out and underneath. So let's reach it forward, out and underneath. We're keeping the hips really steady, gaze forward, Try to level out your hips. And your next option, of course, would be to pop those knees up. Keep your feet wide. Reach. Two. Three. Reach. Two. Three. Good. Reach. Two. Three. Balance out those hips. Two. Three. Last three. Two. Three. And two. Breathe. 
and one. Awesome work. Drop that left arm down. Once again, it could be knees or toes. Making sure your hips aren't rising way up. You're down here and your gaze is slightly ahead. Left fingers pointing to right corner now. Take the right hand. Now, when I take that right hand up, automatically I want to shift, especially here on my toes. So I want to even out those hips, pull everything up and in, gaze slightly ahead, reach one, two, three, again, one, two, three, deep breath, one, two, three, good job, one, two, three, let's do three more, three, two, three, and two, two, three, and last one, two, three, and rest. Awesome work, friends. All right, come on down. We're going to just take a little break here. Come on, bring your elbows right underneath your shoulders. We'll lift the chest, drop your tail, stretch through the front body. You have done an amazing job today. We're just going to counter all that front body work a little with a little bit of mild back bends. So we're already in one. Now never get afraid of the word back bend. It sounds a little, sounds a little ominous, like you're gonna do a full gymnastics back bend. This is a back bend, all right, that's it. We're just extending the spine, that's all we're doing. So we're coming down, bring the hands out like big airplane arms, plant your feet, tops of your feet, push down through your pubic bone. You wanna keep your neck neutral, meaning the back of the neck is nice and long. So inhale, exhale, just a gentle lift up and then lower back down. Hands can even be a little bit further up, okay? And the elbows could be bent. I don't want you to overpower, but you could make like a little bridge with your fingertips even. And this could help facilitate the lift without overpowering with your arms or cranking into your back. Okay? So inhale, shoulders relax. Exhale, we're using a little bit of strength there, but we're also facilitating with our arms to help us up just enough that we're not having to feel like we're straining to come up, okay? So let's take two more, lifting up and back down. Last one, up and bring it down and just let your head rest on the back of your hands. Bend the knees, feet swaying side to side. And then coming back to center. Go ahead and bring the legs down, hands underneath your shoulders, lifting up. Starting to press yourself back. Shift those hips all the way back as far as you can towards your heels, stretch it out. Walk the hands over to the left, reach that right arm way up and get that stretch underneath the arm and down through your side waist. Big breath in, exhale it out, come over to the other side. Same thing, left hand reaches. And come back to center again. Let's come up into seated. Awesome, awesome work, friends. So I want you to take the left arm, reach it up, stretch it out, and come all the way up again, reaching to the other side. Let's take that one more time, each side reaching. So try to keep your hips heavy, keeping your sit bones pressed down to the floor as you reach. Relax your bottom shoulder. We're just trying to take a nice little stretch here. Come up, bring right hand behind you, left arm crossing in front, twisting it out. And then come back to center, inhale and exhale. All right, come all the way back to center. Inhale, sweep up. Let's take those arms back. You could either have fingertips to the floor or you can interlace your hands and lift through the chest, open up. And if you want a little extra forward fold, you can bring that forward. Just bowing forward and bring it back up. Let's take another big sweep up. Meeting your hands at the center and bringing it right down to your rock star center self. And give yourself a little bow and a salute for showing up today, to doing something good for you and getting your heat on in your core. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for being here and I hope to see you again really soon. You can catch me and more classes in Rock Your Life.